when I wasn't an apprentice or journeyman anymore and I had my gallery in Plattsburgh um, when I was 24, I, you know, I, I, I suddenly, I son, suddenly didn't have any constriction on what I could make. And so I, I started making, you know, not only birds, but figures, abstract figures and things like that. You know, I'd move between different areas of interest I had that I wanted to, uh, work on. And, um, when, when I do my slideshow, um, for when I'm teaching or lecturing around the world, uh, one of my first slides I show is of me and my sister, uh, dancing on a stage. We're dressed in costume. So I had this dance background and I, I just always was interested in dance. So when I, when I started to make figures, I wanted to animate them and I thought dance was a good way to do it. Um, to have some sort of a movement. You know, initially, um, I was really interested in ancient Greek sculpture, but it, it's so static, you know, but it, it's intriguing, but it's static. And then, you know, and then the Greeks and the Romans put uh, more motion into it. And, you know, when, when I was young, I lived in Chicago, so I was uh, taken to museums a lot. So I saw a lot of these things. That's actually where I saw birds um, at the uh, Field Museum there. I saw all these birds, you know, taxidermy birds, um, ancient Egyptian things, things like that. But probably that's the main reason I'm an artist is because I... I was fascinated by all these things in the museums.